Back in the 90s, I was huge. Literally. I was fat and borderline famous. I was America's favorite in-your-face lady comedian. Until a tragic accident derailed my dreams on the tracks to my future. Due to a deadly combination of flammable synthetic fabric and a large amount of thigh fat friction, my crotch ignited during a career making set at the Chuckle Hut. My bush went up in flames, along with what was left of the train car wreckage of my dreams. After a long and painful healing process, in which my crotch scabbed, peeled off, then scabbed, then peeled off, and then scabbed again, peeled off, and then finally healed, I decided that it was time to get back to work. I got myself back into shape using an effective, proven fitness regimen designed especially for comedians looking to lose the fat without losing any of the funny. And now I'm back! And totally ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. That's just an expression. I know that the real Mr. DeMille is dead. So join me as I chug along to the top in my train car of comedy dreams. In Connie, the televised TV series. Hey, Connie. What's the deal with this show? It's just like that show, Louie, but with a Connie. It's like Mary Tyler Moore, uh, but I'm not Asian. Uh. It's just like America's Funniest Home Videos, but with more scrotum tearing. Funny. Uh, it's just like Laverne and Shirley if one of them was dead. It's like Ellen, uh, but more gay. It's just like Roseanne uh, if her family was dead. It's like that show Grace Under Fire, uh, but I'll be playing a woman. It's just like Turner and Hooch, uh, but there's no cops, and the dog is dead. <laughs> Still undecided about Connie, the TV series? Well, then here's a storyboard of the pilot. Connie the pilot starts on a Greyhound bus on the way to New York City. Connie tells the man sitting next to her, her dreams of moving to the big city and making it as a lady stand-up comedian. He says to her something along the lines of, Sister, that's a hard life. How do you know if you can swing it? To which I reply, Because I've lived it before. Man with a knife. Dramatic flashback to my former life as a 90s stand-up comedian. We'll see a bit of my 90s set. It'll tell the story of my crotch fire. You get the picture. Okay, moving. The man told me I could accomplish anything as long as I had the right weapons. So, I got my favorite weapon, my microphone, and began to regale the bus with hilarity. Hey, what's the deal with the guy in row 24, huh? Why does he smell like the toilet in row 28? When we got into town, I went straight to the top to tell them that I was back and ready for anything. I started by asking, Hey, remember me? I'm Connie Ham, as in, how you doing? Yeah, I, uh, I had an unaired special with Sinbad called How Bad. Um, I played a lot of clubs, you know. I did the Chuckle Hood, McSkeezies, the Chortle Zone, the Hilarity City, Jokes with a Z, the Rape Room. Um, what else? Oh, I was in the remake of the Ace and Chair sequel. I was the voice of the Red Piece in the animated version of the game Sorry. Uh, remember? Remember? No? After learning that everyone there had amnesia, 
I decided to go to the one place where they knew me best. And they let me tell jokes in exchange for pizza. What's the deal with pizza, huh? How come it's delicious on a plate, but disgusting on a face? Am I right, child softball team? Am I right? <laughs> Fade out over even more hilarious pizza-related jokes. I leave Pizza Town with the knowledge that my rise to the top will be harder than I imagined. But nothing's going to stop me now, because I'm making my way the only way I know how. And I'm going to make it after all. End of Pilot.